Hi, I'm going to show you the installation of the D1X wireless shifting system from Archer Components. For the installation, you're going to need a 2.5mm Allen key, a 5mm Allen key, a good pair of cable cutters and housing cutters, and then any tools you need to remove the shifter cable from your derailleur. All right, so we're going to start by finding the ideal position for the shifter along the chain stay. You can also put it on the seat stay. Every bike's geometry is different, so it really is up to you to find the ideal spot on your bike. You want to make sure that the shifter is close to the rear axle as possible, but keep clear of any interference of the chain, your heel, suspension linkage, any of that stuff. Once you find the right spot, measure a length of Bowden housing from the shifter to your derailleur, cut the Bowden housing, and install the ferrules. The next thing we want to do is prepare the shifter itself. Install the batteries. And then you want to peel back the maintenance door cover to expose the drive tunnel and the drive nut. The drive nut should be at the front of the drive tunnel. Pass your shifter cable through the drive nut and out the shifter body. Pull the barrel of the shifter cable against the drive nut and then close the maintenance door cover. Install your ferrule and Bowden housing onto that shifter cable, pass it all the way through. Now, to install your P-straps, take the skinny end of the P-strap, pass it up through the shifter body, and pull it tight so it locks into place. All right, the shifter's ready to go. The next thing we're gonna do is remove our rear wheel and install the shifter itself. Now we're going to install the shifter body onto your chainstay in that ideal position that you already found. First off, place, pass the shifter cable through the housing on your derailleur. Make sure the, the ferrule is seated nice and snug. Once your shifter is in position on your chainstay, pass the P-straps over through the clamps and pull them snug. You want to make sure that these are nice and snug so you don't want that shifter moving around on you. Now I want to make sure that the P-straps are snug, that the shifter body is in position, and I'm going to leave these things long for just another few minutes here uh, until I know that I'm exactly in the right spot for everything with my rear wheel reinstalled. After you have your shifter mounted in the correct location, Trim your shifter cable and the P-straps. Download the Archer Components app from the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store. Open up the Archer Components app, select the Archer D1X device, confirm pairing, and then select New Configuration. We can hit the double arrow to get macro movements and the single arrow to get micro movements to make sure that our shifter is in the right spot for each gear. Go to each gear and get the right spot for each one of your gears. You can hit the gear up and the gear down buttons to make sure that you're in the exact right spot for each one of your gears. It's helpful to go through gear up and gear down for each one of the gears to see how the system is going to respond as you shift. We've configured our shifter. Our shift points are all super smooth and we're able to shift through all of our gears. Next, we're going to install the remote. Slide the clamp on your bar and tighten with a number five Allen key. Now that our remote is installed on the handlebar, we can pair the remote and the shifter using the app. Go to settings on the app, tap pair remote, the shifter will turn off automatically. Turn it back on. After the shifter is on, turn on the remote. When the orange light flashes on the remote, the remote and the shifter are paired uniquely and communicating properly. To see more instructional videos, go to archercomponents.com.